Now we're Polish citizens. This is the most Polish day ever. What's up, P Nation? Today is another beautiful day in Poland. We are super excited to be here and we're gonna have the most Polish day ever. <laughs> so first of all, we're starting off by going to the bus station to get our tickets to Krakow. Not that important. However, later we're going to the Warsaw Uprising Museum and then to one of Poland's like most Polishy beloved restaurants. restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> but first we gotta catch the bus to the bus station. tickets and now we're about to head into the museum. Alright we're in the museum and this is without a doubt the most confusing museum I have ever been in. There is no direction. I don't know which way is left or right. There are arrows going everywhere. Things are kind of numbered so I'm trying to like figure that out. Hi. I don't think I've ever been this lost before though. So luckily I kind of know the history of what's going on, but Leah's just like reading little pamphlets everywhere and they're out of date. And we don't have enough time to do all this stuff. This place is huge. Now we're in this like tunnel system, which looks like a subway type thing. It's scary. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we just got out of the museum. We are now going to eat because we are super hungry and we are catching this train. famous Polish restaurant in all of Warsaw. At least that's what it says on all the blogs, all, everything online. This is the place to come for real Polish food. So the first thing we ordered is beef tartare, which for those of you who don't know what beef tartare is, it is raw beef that is cut up so small and it's mixed with like onions and like herbs and different things. I'm not exactly sure how it comes here, but it's served with also a bread platter. And it looks like we have butter, pickles, and some kind of creamy sauce. It should be exciting. In no way does it taste like raw meat. It kind of, it has kind of the consistency of like 
a spicy salmon roll. You know, like if you're comfortable with eating sushi, I think this is practically the same thing, consistency-wise. <laughs> it has a lot of good flavors. You can definitely taste the pickles, the raw onion, and the mustard, and the black pepper. It just kind of like brings it all together, and it's just this salty, kind of mustardy taste that fills your mouth and is like somehow like very calming. Oh, I saw do this. I like sushi. I like sushi. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> It's very interesting. You taste the pickles and the onions very well, and it kind of tastes like a really loaded hot dog. That's just what I'm feeling. The consistency is obviously very different from the hot dog, but as far as the taste goes, that's like the only thing that's missing is ketchup. Okay, so first off, we have a potato dumpling. It has a very complicated name, so I've not tried to replicate it very well. But I believe it's stuffed with veal, and it comes with like bacon on top, and, like bacon oil. The potato dumpling itself, it tastes just like mashed potatoes, but it's, I'm not sure how it's coming together, like, to form a dumpling. It tastes so good. And the veal inside kind of tastes like meatloaf, which I love, with bacon on top. This is overall one of the best things I've had in a really long time. So now for the cabbage rolls. I have a personal connection with this dish. My grandma used to make cabbage rolls. We used to call them pigs in a blanket all the time. They are like the dish that my grandma makes. Everybody loves them. My whole family loves them. And they are complicated to make. It takes a lot and a lot of work. So this looks just like it, really. I mean, it comes with the tomato sauce. She cooked them in the tomato sauce. So like tomato flavor was like soaked inside. But inside these cabbage rolls is veal, probably some rice, some seasonings, rolled up in cabbage, cooked for a long time, and then simmered in tomato sauce. It is heaven on earth. I am so excited to try this. This tastes just like hers. She cooks it a little differently, but the inside, I believe it still has rice. It is such a comforting, homey type of dish. The veal inside is delicious. The tomato sauce on the outside makes it like absolutely perfect. You've never tried cabbage rolls, you have to. It is so good. And I didn't know that they were a Polish dish. Mm. What is that hidden flavor? I feel like the cabbage rolls I've had or I guess that I haven't had any. So maybe I haven't had any, but the ones I think that I have had didn't really have a cabbage taste, but I feel like this has a cabbage taste in it. It's very different than anything I've ever had. I don't really know what cabbage tastes like, because every time I have cabbage, it's baked in bacon. So this is something new for me. It's really good. I also just want to say that this restaurant feels exactly like the movie Ratatouille. Like when I imagine what Gusteau's is like, it's just like this. This is really crazy. Special order! This meal is absolutely amazing, and they gave us goodie bags. Whew, so we are full of tartare, cabbage, rolls, meat, <laughs> <laughs> and now we are headed on the train to go to the park to watch sunset. Okay, and we have made it to the park just for sunset. Mm -hmm. These bees are everywhere. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> What are these ducks doing? This duck just ate the biggest bug. He like snatched it out of there. It's that one behind you. What is that? Okay, so we have confirmed they are cicadas just like we have in, in America. I was gonna say in Texas and in Maryland. It's so weird because like the bird is like chasing, or the duck. He, yeah. And then he went over here and then he went over there and Leah said the whole time he was chasing the same bug. And then yeah. he finally got him. That was like the grossest thing I've ever seen a duck do. Going off roading. Last time this happened, Leah fell down the Philippine mountains three times. She has slipped four times now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's actually a pretty steep hill. Okay, made it safely down the hill. Leah said that I should have filmed myself going down it, but... That was so funny. He has such big feet. <laughs>
I just don't think this day could have gotten any more Polish. This park is amazing. The food was amazing. People watching is amazing. And there's peacocks here. Wild peacocks. There oh my are. gosh. What is going on? And the sunset on the water with this like palace thing in the background. I just feel like I'm in Paris or in New Orleans yeah. or in some French place. I don't even know where. This does not feel like Poland. We are so impressed that Poland is like this. Today has been amazing. Well, that about wraps it up for this vlog. I feel like I'm a Polish citizen. We learned so much history today. <laughs> we learned everything about the Warsaw Rising. It's very interesting. Lots of history here. Leah taught me a lot about the food. Yes. <laughs> Cabbage rolls are a must on anyone's list. Yes, and then going through the park just learning about like the architecture and the Renaissance period. Yeah, it's been beautiful. It's been awesome. Now we're Polish citizens. This is the most Polish day ever. <laughs>